Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the FBI YouTube channel. My name is Cindy Valentina from the YouTube channel Valentina Cowgirl. And today I'm here with Mr. Dooley. You guys might remember him from my grooming routine. He's gonna help me with my tacking up routine today. I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I tack up Western and maybe bring you guys on a little ride. So yeah, I've already done the whole grooming process. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down below. And now it's just time to tack up. So let's go ahead and get started. Western tack is definitely super different than English. Um, I actually tacked up my horse English for the first time a couple months ago, and it was kind of hard. <laughs> but for me, Western, since I've ridden Western for so long, it does come a little bit easier than English. But anyway, there are a bunch of things that are different, including the saddle pad. This is a Western saddle pad, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I how I put it on. So I always use the front leg as a reference point. I like to make sure that the front of my saddle pad cuts right in the middle of the front leg. As long as it's positioned there, the rest kind of follows. And my favorite pads are the ones that contour. They just kind of sit a little bit better. But yeah, that's the saddle pad. Now let's move on to the saddle. All right, so my saddle is technically a barrel saddle, but I use it for everything. I've gone to obstacle courses with it. I've done trail riding. I've done raining. Like I literally just use the saddle for everything. But technically, it is a barrel racing saddle. So Let's go ahead and put this on. I try my best to lay it on my horse's back as gently as possible, but I do need to work on my upper body strength. I'm gonna try my best. Oh, okay. Sometimes when you put the saddle on, it can kind of push down on the saddle pad and cause a little bit of pressure on the withers. So what I like to do is just lift up right here and make sure that there's a little bit of space in between the saddle pad and my horse's wither, just so that there's not any pressure on there. So once the saddle is on and everything's positioned where I want it to be, it's time for the girth. All right, so there's a couple of different ways that you can tie a girth or technically a cinch, whatever you want to call it. I think girth is for English and cinch is for Western, but I'll go ahead and show you guys how I usually tie mine. I usually loop it around about two or three times like this. And then I kind of pull and just loop it through. And with the leftover latigo, I just kind of do a little loop-de-loop -loop so it's out of the way, and that's it. All right, so now that the saddle is on, we're gonna move on to the breast collar. Now, I don't always ride in a breast collar. It honestly just depends on how I'm feeling that day or what we're gonna be working on. Today, I think I'm actually gonna put it on. All right, so here's my breast collar. It's not that hard to put on. It has this wither strap to help keep it up. So I just loop it under his chest like this, and then use the wither strap first to clip it over like that. And then I attach the sides. So first we're gonna loop it through the saddle. And then through here. Now it usually depends on the horse that I'm riding. If I'm riding one of the big horses, it's a little bit looser. But since Dooley is the small, <laughs> I'm gonna do it a little bit tighter. So finally, we attach the middle part of the breast collar to the girth. All right, so the breast collar is on, and I always like to make sure it's not too tight or restricting the horse's shoulders or anything like that. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, so here's my bridle. This is just a basic snaffle bit. Today, I'm gonna be riding in some split reins. These are just some biothane split reins. This headstall matches the breast collar. So we're gonna look all matchy-matchy today, huh? Let's go ahead and put this on. I usually like to start off by throwing the reins over first. And if they're split reins, it's pretty easy to do this. I don't have to like take the halter off or anything like that. And this works great too, because when you take the halter off, if your horse starts to walk off, you can just grab him right here. We're gonna take the halter off. strap over here. Now let's get on with the ride. 
So for today's ride, I'm actually going to be using the Pixio. I'm super excited because as you guys know, I love to ride alone. And the only downside to that is that sometimes I don't get to see how I'm doing, how the horse is working, if I'm doing the right movement, if, if my seat looks correct. So the Pixio is perfect for that because I can ride alone, but at the same time, I can track my progress and see how we're moving. It just follows you around. You wear this little watch, which I'm going to put on right now so we can get ready to ride. You set up the beacons and you get to riding and your whole ride is recorded. You don't have to worry about zooming in or zooming out because it just does it for you it's super cool i'm super excited so my watch is on i'm gonna set up the beacons and we'll finally get to riding all right so i have my helmet on we're gonna move over to the grass arena and finally start riding i feel like i've said we're gonna start riding a million times so far <laughs> Job. We actually beat the rain because it's about to pour. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse him off.
right, he's all clean. He's all rinsed off. We had a great ride today. I'm so glad you guys got to come along. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one, right? I'll see you guys in the next one.